If a four or five foot pike can eat waterfowl and mammals, it seems logical that a 12 footer could be a man eater. So what I've got here, I've got a lure that's sending out very, very strong signals. It's a very bright flash and a very strong vibrating throb. And I guess actually that was probably what was happening when that fish went for that propeller as well. Fish on, fish on, fish on. And oh, that's a nice size fish. That's a nice size fish. Here we go. Let's go in again. That's a nice fish. Going under the boat. I don't want to go up the other side of the boat. Look at that lovely fish. Deep, lovely, clear water, so you can see the fish really well. Right, I'll look at it. A lovely Alaskan pike. Just do a quick measure here. And uh, 40 inches. Lovely fish. A 40 inch pike is probably around 20 years old. I think about a pike. If there's ever a fish where, you know, the way it looks tells you about the way it lives, I mean, that is the pike. I mean, it's, you know, head full of teeth at one end, uh, not just on the jaws, but on the tongue, on the gill rake as well, as well. And they have eyes that make them a deadly sight predator. You can really see here these sighting grooves sort of converging on the prey here. So a bit like sighting grooves on a, on a rifle, and they can just judge the distance to the prey. And they're so wonderfully camouflaged here, just blending into weed. Very long, streamlined shape. And then you've got the, the dorsal fin right at the back of the body, so you've got a big propulsion unit. As soon as that prey comes within range, you know, it lunges. And once it's in those teeth, there's just no getting away. So just a perfect predator, this fish. People say that if, that if you actually see one of these big fish, it's actually it's, it's like a bad sign. I'm well aware of what this river monster is capable of. 